What's going on guys? It's your boy YDXCJ and this is the first time you've seen my channel or any of my videos. I make gaming related content so I'm going to bring the positivity to you. And in today's video, we're, I'm going to be letting all my beginner players know everything that needs to need, everything you need to know about Bloodhound and Apex Legends. And again, this video is more pointed towards beginner players or players that just want to refresh on what these characters do and how they operate. Now I plan on doing this for all my all the Apex Legends so far in the game. And if you want to get an update on your weapons too, I'm doing a series similar to that with weapons in Apex Legends as well. So every Apex Legends character has three abilities. One is a passive ability and two are active abilities that you can use. One is a tactical and one is an ultimate. The ultimate takes a little bit more time to charge up than the tactical, but is a lot more powerful than the tactical. So when it comes to Bloodhound, Bloodhound is known as a technological tracker. Bloodhound, st Bloodhound's three abilities, first their passive is tracker. Foes leave behind clues for you to find. And now that's a little vague, but what this really means is in game, when you're playing Bloodhound, you'll see these little markers on the ground and the sky, pretty much all over the place. If an enemy's been there, the game will let you know with that little box square, you'll see it and it'll let you know what that player actually did. If they shot, if they died, if they bled out, if they crap, if they flew, if they if they climbed, it lets you know everything and it'll let you actively track these players down if you want to play that way. On top of this, Bloodhound's tactical Eye of the Allfather briefly reveals enemies, traps, and clues to all structures in front of you. So what this does is when you're playing Bloodhound and you press your tactical button, Bloodhound will tap a device on their wrist, which will essentially send out a pulse forward and any any enemy or trap picked up in that pulse, I think within, uh, I think it's like 3000 meter radius or something like that. They'll be picked up and you'll see a red outline of the enemy or the trap. It lasts about a few seconds, but it's great information for you and your team because your teammates can see any enemy that is picked up within that as well. And then last but not least, Bloodhound's ultimate ability is called Beast of the Hunt. What this is, Bloodhound transforms into the ultimate hunter, enhances your senses, allowing you to see cold tracks and move faster. Knockdowns extend the duration of this. So with that, when you when you see it's ready, the game will prompt you to press your two corresponding buttons for it. For Xbox players, it's LB and RB. Once you do that, your screen will begin to turn gray. You'll get about 30 to 33 seconds of Beast of the Hunt. Bloodhound moves a lot faster. And also your tactical ability comes back a bit faster as well. And just like the game says, any knockdowns for this will extend your timer. I think it's about five seconds for each knockdown or something like that. So it's a very useful ability if you wanna be more aggressive with your tracking. If you have some people around you that you can knock down. It really allows you to give a lot more information to your team a lot quickly, a lot more quicker, and it also allows you to be a lot more aggressive and hunt those players down. Then last but certainly not least, Bloodhound is classified as a recon character, and every recon character in the game has a special ability. So when you're playing the Battle Royale mode in Apex Legends, you'll see these things on the map called survey beacons. And what survey beacons do is they reveal the next circle location. And so you and your team can see where the next circle will be on the map, giving you again an advantage on rotating quickly and easily to the next circle because you already know where it's gonna be at. And again, this isn't just an ability for Bloodhound, this is an ability for all recon players in Apex Legends, so keep that noted. But like I said, guys, this is just a brief overview of Bloodhound and what they do. If you want a more in-depth review on Bloodhound, what I think about them, how I feel about them, let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you want me to talk about the lore with these characters in the Apex games, let me know in the comments down below as well. I'm more than happy to do that. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave it a like. And if you want more Apex Legends and gaming content like this, then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. It's been your boy, YNDXCJ. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.